Hello friends, here in this video, we will see the definition and explanation of total pressure. Total pressure is also called as hydrostatic force. Actually, it is a force, but we are calling it as pressure. Now, for total pressure, the assumption is that again, here we have a tank which is filled with water. Water is there inside the tank. And next, we have a body of any given shape. The shape is arbitrary, this body. Body is immersed in water. Now, there will be force acting on this body because of the weight of the fluid kept. Here it is water. So, because of the weight of the water, there will be a force acting over this body. So, I will say that, therefore, hydrostatic force is given by now if I consider here hydrostatic force then it would be given by F is equal to rho G area into H bar here I have the formula for hydrostatic force now here I'll write down where rho is the density of fluid it would be in terms of kg per meter cube because it is mass density g is acceleration due to gravity meter per second square capital A it is the area of this body in terms of meter square and h bar it is the height of CG that is center of gravity of body from free surface it would be in terms of meter see if we have a body in that we have a point called as center of gravity denoted by G and the distance of center of gravity from the free surface this is denoted by H and this free surface it is exposed to atmosphere this is the symbol it indicates that the fluid is exposed to atmosphere so here if we know in this formula all the values then we can easily calculate the value of hydrostatic force unit of hydrostatic force it would be either in terms of newton or kilo newton and as we have seen here in this video that total pressure was nothing but hydrostatic force and we have written the equation of how to calculate the hydrostatic force and we have shown that on a body being the centroid or the center of gravity we should know the distance of that from the free surface of the liquid so here we complete total pressure